Hi, welcome to Awkward Hamster. A few months back I was browsing Kickstarter and I came across this project. It's called the Tilpod. And it's supposed to be the world's smallest articulating iPhone stand. You can use it on other cell phones if it fits into here. And uh, what led me to this is I make a lot of videos with my phone, obviously, and I just did not like carrying the, the tripod around or even the, the mini gorilla pod. I wanted something that I can just fit in my pocket and when I saw this one I was like wow this is exactly what I'm looking for. So this is the back side. You shoot, it connects, then you can loop it to a keychain. And in the box it came with this, a thank you card from the people who created this tilt pod. So let's go ahead and open this up. Let's see, oh, it's taped here on the bottom. Let me just rip that up. And let's take a look. All right, so here we got a setup guide. Feels like there's something folded in this paper. Okay, so here's the loop. And what else do we have here? Okay, so it's, uh, let's see. It just says, depending on location of the tripod hole, you can screw it on either way. Okay, looks simple enough. Let's take this out as packaging as well. It came with one keychain loop. This part, hmm. Let's twist tight on. Alright, so here's the part that goes in your pocket. And this is the one that it's magnetic. So let's see, let's see if we can see this here. So once this is on it, and the phone's resting on it, essentially it can it can tilt, pan, in almost any direction. I can tilt, pan. It's pretty stiff. I'm not sure how many ounces it can hold up, but it feels like it can at least hold up any any cell phone out in the market right now. Let's see what else is here. So they included a, I believe it's a strap. Just a loop de loop strap. This part, this is uh, just a tape, a, a tape on one side, and just an adhesive. So if there's anything you want to, to glue this onto that doesn't have one of those uh, camera, universal camera holes, those camera mount holes, you can just glue it on. I'll be saving that for some time, something else. And anything that has a standard camera mount hole, I can then just uh, mount this onto it. As in this example, I can just use a regular point and shoot camera. Cool. So essentially this can just sit on my car keys. My, my cell phone's always with me. My car keys are usually with me too. And I can just loop this in with my keys. And just basically travel with this. 
And here I have the iPhone 4, but with the iPhone 4, with the bumper on, it's also too thick. I'm going to try taking the bumper off and see if that will work. So with the bumper off, it's a, it's a perfect fit. So it will work for cell phones that's got roughly the same thickness as the iPhone 4 or the iPhone 4S. But if you have anything thicker, it would not work. Luckily, most phones are not thicker than, uh, all, most of the new phones are not thicker than a 4S. Hmm. I'm not sure what to think about this because I rather like having the uh, the bumper on my iPhone. Having the, having to take this take the bumper off is just a an extra step. I guess I can put up with it. I'd like to list some of the pros and cons. For the pros, it works great with the iPhone 4S and it's look at the tilt angles. I can just get just about almost any shot I want. I can place this on top of my uh, my car and do self shots, or place it almost anywhere as eye level. It's uh, I don't think this is a direct uh, competition to like the a Gorilla Pod, for example. I think this is just an, um, something different. That this is just something that will fit in your pocket, whereas nothing else out in the market will just fit in your pocket and be able to tilt articulate the screen. Now another benefit of this besides being inexpensive when I got from Kickstarter it came with these adhesive mounts an adhesive mount and also the universal camera mount so that I can use it with a point and shoot camera. So obviously this is strong enough to support a, a point and shoot camera that's 600 grams or so. Now for some of the cons most iPhone users I know, they would have some sort of bumper or protective covering on it. Um, very few I've seen that would actually just use the phone as it is. Now, that's probably because when the iPhone 4 came out, they were giving out bumpers like hotcakes. So it would have been nice if this piece here can stretch out or be a bit more flexible. So that way I can, it can fit an iPhone 4S that has a bumper on it. Unfortunately, it doesn't, so I always have to take off the bumper and that is kind of inconvenient. And with that said, that said, I can't I can't fault them on it. They just did not advertise that it can fit bumpers. They specifically said it would fit like on 4S. It does fit it. So, I'll just give this thing a 4 out of 5 stars. Well, thanks for watching this. Uh, unboxing review of the tilt pod. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, please feel free to send to me. Thanks for watching Walker Hamster. Bye.